Hi everyone, this is Mplay again. Bet you're surprised to hear my voice. I thought I'd do a live playthrough for you today, so here we have Tom and Jerry the movie for the Master System. And we start off in the kitchen. You see that Tom's got a bit more of a blue hue than usual. It often happened in a lot of the cartoons as well. One of the things that's quite unusual about this game is the fact that even though it's well... Well, the art is pretty nice. The design of the game mechanics isn't that great. So... The controls are quite stiff, and unless you know what you're doing, you could easily fall into traps. And you're constantly waiting for the screen to go forward, so catching Jerry isn't always as easy as you might think. But it is in this case. <laughs> When I was doing the practice run, I completely missed that. Because he was just throwing bombs and dropping mines all over the place, right? So now we've beaten stage one. Now let's go out in the garden for stage two. Now, make sure. Right, up, up. And run. Depending on how fast you are, you'll sometimes drop quite steadily but that way was okay. Sometimes I've done it and they haven't run across all the platforms and then it just mucks up my physics. Right, watch out for the frog. Okay. And I miss Jerry altogether, that's good. Because if you get too close in certain situations then you'll drop all kinds of weapons. Right. Okay. I've always loved the swimming animation in this, I'm not sure why, but it's pretty fun. Once you got up here, this bit is quite tricky because you're having to dodge the fish and other things too, so. Oh, and he's dropped a mine. Wonderful. Oh, I managed to miss it. Great, so just dodge the fish. Again, fish. Oh, I see you taunting me, you little bugger. Right, okay. I swear, this is the first time I played this level where I haven't lost any health whatsoever. And Jerry's bomb just completely missed me. Right there we go. Right. Swim, swim, swim. Right, so I've got to dodge the fish here. Please let me get there. That's the fish. the fish as much as I can. Yes! Gotcha! That's level two done. You have to wonder how Jerry would be able to get away from that. Okay, now you're in downtown. Right, jump. Watch out for the flower pots. To be honest, they look more like buckets to me, but there you go. Oh look, you can see Sonic and Opa Opa from Fantasy Zone down the bottom, on the posters. <laughs> That's always pretty fun. Now, if you're wondering which emulator I'm using at the moment, I'm currently using Kega Fusion. I think it's just called Fusion now, it's 3.6.4. I think I'm using some kind of plugin as well to increase the quality, so you're actually looking at a pseudo upscale oh no a pseudo upscale version of the game just lucky that I got seven continues and Jerry where do you get that apple from anyway <laughs> let's go back to downtown it's like I said with the uh, the, the way the game controls work sometimes you'll um, you'll do that without even noticing so Jump over and through. And I've managed to get to pretty much where I was last time, so will I do it this time? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Right. 
Alright. The skyscrapers on the back there remind me of Streets of Rage. I don't know if it's copied or if it's very similar. Streets of Rage was out in 1990, and this was made in 1992, I believe. So it's a possibility there could be some reusing there. Okay, so if I drop down. Now this bit is probably one of the most annoying parts of the game because it relies on you having split second timing, so if I go, oh, no, you have to run at it at just the right angle, right, and, example of poor game design right here, so, oh, and I got caught on the left side of the screen. Now this is one of the examples where it's not necessarily your fault that you lose the game. Okay, and I just jumped right on a mine. That's that's never good. Right. So if I jump. I'm not sure if there's a kind of best way to do this. I mean, I think it's possible that if you jumped at the wall, you'd be able to get Jerry, but it's just too far away to actually consider doing it. So. That being said, the controls might not be that great, but the puzzle design is actually fairly solid. Okay, now that's just rude. Release the platform, down we go. Oh! I thought I pressed the button. Oh well. Live and learn, eh? Live and learn. I may have got hurt, but at least I've managed to, to get over it this time. Right, so climb. I could try and jump in here, but... So, one, and a two. Down here, so. ah, another flower pot. Right, I think this is the end area now, so I can do a run up, jump, and there's no obstacle at the end of this one, so you can just run up and grab him. And Jerry gets away again. This time we're going into the forest. This is one of my favourite 8-bit backgrounds of all time because there's just so much detail here. It's a real shame that it, it couldn't be in a game that got more recognition because there is so much potential here. And I'm caught in another game, Logic Loop, which is just fantastic. Okay. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Why if I do it once? Oh, well that certainly helps. I've no idea what Tom's actually doing there. I hope he isn't doing what I thought he was doing, but... Watch out for the 40 acorns. Well, call them acorns, I'm not actually sure what they are. Those springs are quite unique, actually. And I've managed to catch him. Yes! So that means that we're off past the forest. Awesome. So now we should be at the mountains, I believe. Yep, here we are. Jerry, you're gonna be mine. So, this area is, well, obviously it's quite rocky because it's the mountains, but, um, but if you let it go on long enough, then there's also an underground ice cave here too, so that's quite nice. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so I just got hurt and then I was somehow able to bypass that. That's logic for you. Okay. This running water reminds me a bit of uh, Lava Reef from Sonic and Knuckles for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Yep, and we're in the ice area. Probably because of the way that it translates from from one sort of extreme of nature to another. Come on, Jerry. Oh, you're joking, right? You have to come all the way down here just to trigger him. You see, that's... I loved this game when I was growing up, but there were so many bad things with it that I didn't realise at the time. I'll get you, Jerry, and your apple too. Right. right this time I'm gonna get him. <laughs> now, an ordinary cat would have grabbed that. You know, grabbed the platform where you were jumping. But not Tom. Oh no. to be an ordinary cat. <sighs> it's lucky that he somehow can phase through solid objects like that. Otherwise I would be in a little bit of trouble, so... He actually triggered himself this time. Ah, oh, health pots. You don't see these anywhere else in the game. Well, I'm not sure if you actually see them in the in the nursery, actually, which is the final level. There we go. Oh, I didn't know he could fall over like that. Yes! So that's stage five. But now onto the last level, that's the nursery. Or the baby's room. Depending on what you call it. I mean, some versions of the game call it the nursery, some call it the baby's room. I think the original manual actually calls it the nursery, which is a bit strange. But I guess the uh, translation department's got a bit meddled up. I'm not actually sure which division of Zega actually made this game, so whether it was the Sonic team or if it was AM or something like that, I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll be able to find out if he looked hard enough. Could have been in-house or the Zega Technical Institute that made uh, Sonic 2 and Comic Zone. Okay, so does this guy jump? No, he just runs along, so jump. Ooh, football. I love the animation on the football, that's one of the best parts of this game. Which is kind of sad if you think about it. Although why it didn't pop when you actually touched it is another thing altogether. David Beckhams, we are definitely not. When it comes to footballs. Watch out for the mines. Obviously another mouse has been here before. So he's left all kinds of traps. But watch the football. It probably nibbles or something like that. Oh. And I lost all my bars of health. Lucky I've got four continues left. The baby's room is definitely the most difficult of all the levels. You could get lucky and catch Jerry early on, but even in then you'd have, I don't know, a marginal chance because there's just so few opportunities. Watch out for the bees. Why would there be bees in a baby's room? Let's just put it that way. I mean, what if the baby has an anaphylactic, an anaphylactic shock or something? But never mind. I guess it was the villain's idea to put them in there, not the parents. Because I doubt that no matter how much a parent wants to warn their child of danger, they wouldn't put a live bee in their bedroom. Okay. And I should be able to do this. 
this. Ugh. Ran too fast at the end of it. Right, okay. Almost there. Come on. Watch out for the light fittings. Yeah, I think I'm going to get it this time. Okay, I've got no idea how to actually defeat this guy. So I'm just going to jump down there and try and catch him another way. Okay. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, I was wrong. You can get the health pots in this part. Sorry, I was just looking at something. Right. And I've got no idea how you actually catch or defeat that robot dog. No idea. There must be a way somehow that you can defeat him, but I've got no idea. Got him! Yes! <laughs> and I've beaten the game! So after all that, Tom decides to let him go, to chase him again. Great. So the entire game was just based so he could chase him, catch him, and then repeat, repeat, repeat. Now it was common practice for a lot of Sega programmers, well in fact all game programmers, to put um, their nicknames instead of their full names on the credits, so it's quite unique in this sense, like, and they often thank the player at the end, which is a sort of, which is something a lot of games don't do. Ooh. I love the little animations that he does at the end, like, even when he's got hit by a bomb, he can still stand up and just say hello. <laughs> Presented by Sega. <laughs> and that's it for this playthrough of Tom and Jerry the Movie on the Master System. I'm M Play, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time I decide to do a live play. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual social media stuff. And if you liked it, then please watch my next video, okay? This is Mplay, signing out.